Hello everyone. Welcome back to today's topic of the day. Today we'll be discussing about Europe's largest deposit of rare earth elements. Now, Swedish state-owned mining company LKAB announced that it has discovered more than 1 million tons of rare earth oxides in the northern area of the country. Now, what are rare earths? The 17 rare earth elements include the 15 lanthanides plus scandium with atomic number 21 and yttrium with atomic number 39. Now, the rare earth elements are classified as light rare earth elements, that is LREE, and the heavy rare earth elements, that is HREE. The 17 rare earths are cerium, dysprosium, erbium, europium, gadolinium. Holmium, lanthanum, lutetium, neodymium, praseodium, promethium, samarium, scandium, terbium, thulium, ytterbium, and yttrium. Now, what makes these earth elements rare? Despite their classification, most of these elements are not really rare. Although rare earth elements are fairly distributed across different geographies. the extraction of rare earth elements is the most challenging part because of complex processing and intensive environmental effects let's see the application of these rare earths these elements are important in technologies of consumer electronics computers and networks communications clean energy advanced transportation healthcare environmental mitigation and national defense among others Scandium is used in televisions and fluorescent lamps and yttrium is used in drugs to treat rheumatoid arthritis and cancer. Now the rare earth elements are used in space shuttle component, jet engine turbines and drones. There has been an increase in demand of rare earths for green energy. Elements like neodymium and dysprosium which are used in wind turbine motors are sought after more than ever as windmills across the world continue to grow talking about the chinese monopoly now over the years china has repeatedly used its monopoly in the rare earths market for furthering its geopolitical agendas for instance in 2010 china blocked japan's access to rare earth elements over japan's detention of a chinese fishing trawler captain A decade later, when the USA administration tried to take action against telecom giant Huawei, China threatened to block their access to rare earth. Talking about the significance of discovery in Sweden, it is the largest known deposit in Europe. Currently, no rare earths are mined in Europe, and it mostly imports them from other regions. Around 98% of rare earths used by the European Union were sent by China. The discovery will be significant for western countries as they have been trying to reduce their reliance on China for the import of these rare earths especially since the outbreak of the coronavirus pandemic. However, China's monopoly is likely to persist for the next few years as it will take years to start operations at the Kiruna mine in Sweden where the deposits have been found. Now what is Mineral Security Partnership all about? In this background In August 2022, the US and the 10 other nations, Australia, Canada, Finland, France, Germany, Japan, South Korea, Sweden, United Kingdom and the European Commission formed the Mineral Security Partnership. Its objective is to break China's dominance in the global market, which has created processing infrastructure in rare earth minerals and has acquired mines in Africa for elements such as cobalt. Moving on to the Indian scenario, though India has 6% of the world's rare earth reserves, it only produces 1% of Of global output and meets most of its requirements of such minerals from China. Some rare earth elements are available in India, such as lanthanum, cerium, neodymium, praseodymium, and samarium, etc. Others, such as dysprosium, terbium, and europium, which are classified as heavy rare earth elements, are not available in Indian deposits in extractable quantities. Now that was little bit about the rare earth elements. Let's take a practice question from the topic. Consider the following statements regarding rare earth elements. Statement one: The seventeen rare earth elements include the fifteen lanthanides plus scandium and yttrium. Statement two. Recently more than 1 million tons of rare earth oxides were discovered in Sweden. 
Now, which of these statements given above is or are correct? You may take a moment and give your answer in the comment section below. Now, the correct answer is C. That is, both the statement 1 and 2 are correct. I hope you liked the video and found the information useful. You may also check out our daily current affairs section on our website. And for more such videos, stay tuned to the next IES YouTube channel.